there are some really interesting questions um, about your confrontation with your mortality, with your diagnosis. Mm. And this one, from, he asks, would you have preferred to face your illness without all your medical experience? No, no. Um, I feel more, well, it, it's hard to know. If I was a naive, trusting old man, maybe I'd swallow it. Being the person I am, I'd much rather be in control uh, and know, know yeah. in a sense what, I, what I'm up against. It took me quite a while to plow my way through all the professional literature. And at the end of the day, it doesn't matter because what's going to happen is going to happen. I'm getting the, I've had the correct appropriate treatment. Um, and just as no doctor knows how long I'm going to live, I don't know. I mean, it, it's all, I am entering the last, the final chapter of my life anyway, hence the title of the book. And finally, so by my age, it's really important to get away from, oh, I need to live a bit longer. How much longer will I live? Mm -hmm. You need to count your blessings and decide what I want to do. And, and I'm lucky, but A, I, 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 my family are well, and I have a good relationship with them, despite, I was an abs despite being an absentee father. And, and I've got plenty of medical work I can do in the way of lectures and work abroad. So I, I'm very fortunate and it's a waste of time Mm. to try to understand what will happen mm. um but so but that's how I, being a doctor helps me understand that what about a, a very different situation when it's some it's somebody uh, much younger who's facing this what is your advice to a young person um, who's having to confront the fact that they have a terminal illness or indeed their family maybe their parents who are consumed with grief Mm. Uh, about that fact what, what's well I, I I you know I, I can only guess because I wasn't although I had to break bad news and would see patients over quite long periods of time I was never actually actively involved in all the psychological background to this what I told patients that I hope was correct I said you know the most important thing when facing an illness like yours is first of all knowing you're getting the best treatment possible I'd mm -hmm. say by all means go to, go to Google or whatever but I promise you, you know, if you went to America and spent millions of pounds it really wouldn't make any difference very difficult when I've been working in countries like Ukraine mm -hmm. where it would make a difference to go mm -hmm. and spend a lot of money going abroad um, although that's well, the war now has changed things but that was improving but on the whole, in, with my area of expertise, um, I, I could be quite certain I could tell patients, you are not, you know, you, what I'm doing, I'm not the best, but I'm sure it's as good as anything you could get. Yes. So that's the first point. And the second point is you have is to have a close loving family. But that was the most I could say. And from then on, it's each individual, you know, is has their own struggle.